The co-pilot printing system components are 128R256 controller with power cord, 128 or 256 printhead, photo cell, ink reservoir, and mounting bracket hardware, including the printhead mounting post. For this assembly, we'll be mounting the printing system on a standard rolling printer stand. Assembling the printer system requires very few tools. Install the mounting bracket on the printer stand. Notice there are T-bolts located on the bottom of the mounting bracket and a printhead mounting arm located on the printhead mounting post. Remove the end cap from the extrusion on the printhead stand. Gently slide the T-bolts into the channel and position the mounting bracket. When positioned, tighten the Allen bolts. Keep in mind that your installation may vary. Next, mount the ink reservoir onto the printer system mounting bracket. There are two Allen screws that fit through the slots on the mounting bracket. Position the ink reservoir and tighten the Allen screws. Mount the printhead on the printhead arm. There are 128 and 256 printheads. For our example, we'll be mounting the 256 printhead. Notice there is a fixture for mounting the printhead on the printhead arm. Remove the printhead mounting screw from the printhead mounting arm. Position the printhead in the printhead mounting arm with the cable connection on top and the ink fitting on the bottom. Replace printhead mounting screw. Position the printhead and tighten the printhead mounting screw. Printhead height relative to the ink reservoir is very important. Ensure that the lowest orifice on the printhead is at the same level as the top of the ink reservoir. Not the bottom of the printhead but the lowest orifice in the printhead should be at the same level as the ink reservoir. Notice our ink reservoir here is a little too low. Before we mount the controller, let's go over some of the features. The touch screen, the co-pilot label, on-off switch, power supply receptacle, USB port, Ethernet connection, data cable out, and a data cable in. Low ink alarm for printhead 1, printhead 1 connection, printhead 2 connection, low ink alarm for printhead 2. Mounting screws located on the bottom of the controller. Position the mounting screws in the slots located on the printer mounting bracket. When positioned, tighten the mounting screws. After the printhead and the controller have been mounted, connect the data cable between the controller and the printhead. Install the cable connector on the back of the 256 printhead. Remove the shipping cap from the controller and install the other end on the controller. Keep in mind if you have a 128 printhead, the data cable will already be attached to the printhead. Next, attach the ink line from the ink reservoir to the printhead. 
there is a check valve in the ink line and a connector on the end that attaches to the printhead. Gently but firmly seat the ink line in the ink connection on the bottom of the printhead and thread the connector down until it's snug. Next, connect the low ink alarm signal cable to the low ink connector on the controller. Mounting the photocell is very simple. There are mounting nuts located on the photocell barrel and a connector that connects to the co-pilot controller. Remove the mounting nut from the photocell. Insert the photocell into the photocell mounting bracket on the printhead and tighten the mounting nut. Connect the photocell connector to the data in port on the controller. Time to install the ink cartridge. To install the ink cartridge, remove the shipping cap from the ink reservoir. The ink cartridge is shipped with a label indicating the type of ink being installed on the reservoir. The ink cartridge also has an aluminum foil seal. Remove the aluminum foil seal. Gently position the ink cartridge in about the 2 o'clock position relative to the ink reservoir. Firmly twist the ink cartridge into position. Notice there is a cutout on the ink cartridge that allows access to the priming button on the ink reservoir. After the ink cartridge has been properly seated, uncap the vent tube from the ink reservoir. Next we're going to prime the printhead to get ink flowing from the ink reservoir into the printhead. Hold a non-abrasive lint-free wipe gently underneath and very lightly in front of the printhead. Depress the printhead ball in order to advance ink through the ink line and into the printhead. You may have to depress the ink bulb several times to get ink all the way to the printhead. Ink will begin to flow out of the printhead face. Hold the non-abrasive lint-free towel under the printhead and then very gently blot the excess ink off the front of the printhead. Attach the power cord to the co-pilot controller. Simply plug the power cord into the receptacle on the controller and plug the other end into a properly wired and grounded hub. Depress the on-off switch to the on position and the co-pilot will go through a short boot-up sequence. Copilot has booted up in the printing mode. This is the stop printing button. To select a message, select the message button. A list of available messages will appear. In our example, we're going to select the default message. Select apply and the default message will load. Notice the default message is now displayed on the home screen and ready to print. Let's print the message. For questions or concerns, 
please call Squid Ink Manufacturing at 1-800-877-5669.